Hello artists! So today I'm going to talk to you about the art of card making. Card making is um, a great hobby to have no matter who you grow up to be, what your profession is. This is a type of artwork that you can use your whole life. So um, I really encourage you to give it a try. Also, like I mentioned in our last video, you have Mother's Day coming up on this Sunday. You also have Teacher Appreciation Week going on this week. So cards are a great way to show somebody that you appreciate them, that you love them, and that they matter to you. So um, I'm going to show you some professionally made cards that um, are just really great examples of what you want to focus on when you make your own card. So the first one I'm going to show you has a theme. So this card has a, a scoop of ice cream on the front of it. It's nice and colorful. It's got a border that goes around the edge. And um, it's got a little three-dimensional sign right there um, that says, To the Sweetest Mom. And then down here it says, I love you with a cherry on top. So this is called a theme. This, everything that's on this card relates to being sweet. And the words match the pictures. So this is a themed card. When you open up the card, so your artwork is on the cover. And then when you open up the card, it tends to be a lot more simple. And this is where you write your message. Okay, so your artwork wants to be on the cover. And then when you open it up, it's simple. I've noticed in class that a lot of you like to use Sharpies for your artwork. Um, and you notice that when you use Sharpies on the cover, it bleeds into the inside. So a way that you can get over that is by gluing in a separate piece of paper to write your message on the inside so that you don't see your Sharpie marks that have bled through your paper. Okay, so that's a great theme. Um, another thing that I would like to show you is how people can make pieces that stand off of the card. So this is just a simple little tag that they um, have a little message on and given it a border. They've layered it on top of their artwork. And the way that they make it look like it's standing up, I'm going to see if I can get my camera to show you, is they've put little pieces of foam underneath there. So you could do that with a folded up piece of paper too um, to get this piece to stand up. So adding a three-dimensional element is also a great idea. So now let's talk about text. Text are the words that you use. This has one big word and it's centered on the card. It says you. Okay, and then inside the letters of you, they've written a lot of little words that describe who the card is about. Okay, what I want you to notice is that all of these letters are the same size. They're the same space apart. And um, you don't have part of you up here and the you down here. They've kept it all on one line. Okay, so this is all good characteristics. It's not just the word. They've also added a border around the word, which is great practice. Okay, so um, again, you have the art on the cover. The inside is simple, and that's for where you write your message. Okay, um, let's see. I think that um, cards are a great place to use glitter. Um, not many places that we can use glitter and um, have fun with it and it be a really great element to your artwork, but cards is definitely one of those places. You'll also see that they've used cursive handwriting. So cursive is um, a type of writing that all of your letters are connected together. So that is really great to use on the cover of a card. So if you are an older student and you know how to use cursive, now is your time to use it. Um, and then the last, well, second to last thing I wanted to show you is that your card can be simple. It doesn't have to have a lot of words on it. It can just be a beautiful picture, okay? And then when you open it up, that's where you write your letter, okay? So you can keep this part really simple and then when you open it up, this is where you kind of spill your heart out to the person you're appreciating. Last one is, again, just an example of how to group your words together. So they've used their words really tiny, um, and they've made some of the words fancy and some of them simple. So 
take this opportunity during card making to make some of your um, lettering fancy. You can add curls to the end of it. You can make some parts thicker and some parts thinner. So I'll just give you a real close up of that. All right, so that is a great way, um, a great skill to use on your card making is um, by making your text or the words on it nice and fancy. Okay, now as far as the messaging on your card, that's the most important part. So before you start your card, I would like for you to think about that person and think about what you love about them or how they make you feel or why it is you appreciate them. Write some words down and then see if those words inspire you to make a picture, just like this one. The words inspired the picture, okay? Or maybe the picture can inspire the words. Remember to have fun with it, be creative, and um, tell the message. That's the most important part, is what you write on the inside. So um, make sure you take the time to really think about why you're doing what you're doing, why that person is special to you, and um, then they will treasure that card forever, just like I've treasured all of my cards. All right, boys and girls, good luck with this um, lesson. Use it. The people who get these cards from you will love them. If you um, are making a card for your teacher and you need to get that card to your teacher and you don't know how to do that, you can always post it on Artsonia. And in the artist statement, you tell me what teacher you want me to send that card to, and I will send it on over to that teacher for you. All right, boys and girls, I miss you. I can't wait to see you again, and um, hopefully I'll see you on Friday during the parade. Bye.